you know, there's one other thing, and this is going 180 degrees in some direction other than what we've talked about now, but it's something that I wanted to make absolutely sure that we mention on the show today. And that is, do you know the team that most benefits by the David Cully experience in Houston? You do know it. It's the Baltimore Ravens. Because the NFL, remember the NFL made a rule last year that basically said, if you either hire a minority coach or GM, or if you're the team that has lost a minority coach or GM, you get two third round compensatory picks. And you it don't was, get it for hiring. You don't get it for hiring. You, no, you don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You only you get, it get it if it's, it if it's your right. candidate that gets that gets hired to a bigger job. You're right. You're right. So here's the deal right now. The Baltimore Ravens are the biggest beneficiary because David Cully was an assistant coach on their staff in 2020. And at the end of the year, the Houston Texans hired David Cully to be the head coach. So last year, the Ravens got one third round draft choice. This year, the Ravens have another third round compensatory draft choice. For a guy who lasted one year and was clearly, uh, you know, was was clearly not sought, not thought of the day they hired him as the, you know, the coach for the next 10 years. He was, in essence, and he turned out to be a bridge coach. And another team in the league gets two third round draft picks because of that. And again, look. I'm not faulting the rule. I'm not faulting the rate. I'm not doing any. I'm just simply stating the fact that the team that this worked out best for is not the Houston Texans. It's the Baltimore Ravens because they get two threes for a, a position coach on their team. That they can now bring back if they want to. <laughs> they, can, yeah. they can bring him back. They loaned yeah. David Cully to the Texans for a year. And got two third round picks for the exercise. And Cully gets a buy. There's reporting all over the place on what the buyout is, whether it's John McClain, Tom Pelissero, Adam Schefter, they're all over the place on how much David Cully gets to go away. Shefty says two years are guaranteed. McClain says four. Pelissero says three, which is fitting, right? Well, to have no idea what the hell is going on because that's basically the Texans right now. Although, as we suggested, they have an idea who they're going to hire. Gerard Mayo and Brian Flores have emerged as the likely candidates. I still think Josh McDaniels is looming as a possibility there, but there are many questions to be resolved when it comes to the Houston Texans. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.